Looks like today's the day that uh, I'm going to go ahead and finally change out uh, this easy change uh, oil system uh, on my John Deere S130. Uh, I've been thinking about doing it uh, since I picked it up uh, this uh, midsummer, and uh, one of the things that's been holding me back is the mess that it makes, uh, big mess that it makes. Um, so uh, stick around, let me show you the uh, parts and the methods uh, that I'm using uh, to keep from making that big mess. So what uh, finally got me off the fence and decided to go ahead and do it is uh, that I remembered that I had this uh, pump that I bought a few years ago, mainly to pump gasoline, uh, but uh, I wondered if it would, uh, it's made by Pennzoil, you can uh, pick it up uh, for around 11 bucks, there's similar ones on the internet uh, for about that same price. But anyway, so I wondered if uh, it would pump oil. I looked, uh, looked it up on the internet and sure enough, uh, they are uh, recommended to uh, pump oil. So uh, what I intend to do is go ahead and uh, get the uh, majority of the oil out. I'll uh, put it up on ramps to lean it to one side, pump the majority out, and then uh, alternate back and forth with the ramps side to side to get these uh, parts off without making a mess. Okay, let's uh, give this a try and see what we got. There we go. Works as advertised. Uh, I saw a couple of videos online uh, when I was researching to see if it would uh, pump oil, and uh, it works as uh, advertised. Okay, to uh, get at that uh, oil filter, 5 16 uh, socket to remove this uh, cover plate. Okay, first thing uh, we'll go ahead and do while we still got this side elevated is get the uh, easy change uh, filter off. Go ahead and cut this uh, factory installed zip tie off. And then the uh, filter should uh, be able to get it off by pressing down and twisting. Easy as that. Okay, uh, so here's the first uh, moment of truth and uh, see if my uh, plan is going to work. Hopefully we don't get that big mess that I'm trying to avoid. And here comes a little bit of oil. Hopefully it's just going to be what's in the filter holder. Okay, not a lot of mess. Then get that dried up. Okay, then we uh, next thing we're going to do is get the uh, it's a John Deere part. I'll get the uh, part number uh, down at the bottom of the video for you. Uh, you can see it's got uh, a hex. I think it's a number twelve metric. And I don't have one of those, but uh, what fits real nicely is a 3 8 inch drive. And uh, that's what I'll be using to uh, install. So that is the uh, outside. This is what goes in the engine. Put a little Loctite thread locker on it.
and use your 3 8 inch drive if you don't have that number 12 metric hex and you don't want to get it too tight it's uh, aluminum cast in there so just get it nice and snug Next, uh, make sure that uh, that ring that seats the uh, oil filter is nice and clean. And uh, go ahead and install your oil filter. I'll, uh, this happens to be Briggs & Stratton. Uh, the engine's a Briggs & Stratton, so I just picked up uh, that instead of a John Deere. Go ahead and uh, put a light coat of uh, oil on the gasket. <coughs> and install the filter hand tight. Okay, back over to the drain side. Uh, this is where I've got a different part uh, than uh, I've seen most uh, people use. Uh, it's a uh, dr oil drain hose, which uh, fits on the end of this plug. And it's a Briggs and Stratton uh, piece uh, of equipment, so it uh, goes uh, with the Briggs and Stratton engine. So uh, after you get it installed, clips on the side, there's a, on the Briggs and Stratton engines, there's a clip. It goes right up in there. Get that installed, so when you want to change your oil, you just pull it down, point it down into a container, take your cap off, point it down into the container and, uh, and let it drain. Okay, to get that drain plug out, what fits it uh, nicely is a uh, half inch drive. I don't have a half inch uh, ratchet set, so what I do have is an adapter, and uh, I'll just use my 3, three eighths inch extension and a uh, adjustable wrench to uh, remove that. Hopefully there'll be No mess, as I was expecting on the other side, there was a little bit. Hopefully there's going to be no oil coming out here this time. Great, as planned. The fitting uh, that already has Loctite on it. And uh, I think the size socket that fits that is a uh, 11 sixteenths. And like I say, it's already got the Loctite on it, so we'll go ahead and get that started. And once again, don't over tighten this. Just get it nice and snug. And that'll work. There we go. One other thing I should mention is uh, make sure that it's the right uh, length to uh, fit into the clip without uh, sticking out too far that it uh, uh, doesn't allow you to put that cover back on nice and cleanly. I cut about an inch off uh, of this one because uh, it was a bit too long. Push it on there and then it's got a uh, spring clip. Then uh, just insert the clip into the bracket on the side of the engine. 
and you're good to go. Uh, next time you need to change your oil, just bring it out, take your cap off, put your container on it, and let it go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the oil in and uh, check for leaks on both sides before we put the uh, covers back on. Okay, that's a, a done deal. There are no leaks. Uh, I checked the oil level and it's uh, right where it should be. So we'll get the uh, side covers back on and we'll be good to go. Um, leave me some comments. Uh, tell me what you think of the uh, John Deere Easy uh, oil change. Uh, like I said, I was uh, sitting on the fence with it. Uh, I just didn't like the idea of uh, leaving half the oil, uh, the dirty oil in there when you change the oil. Um, John Deere claims that, that uh, canister the big uh, oil filter does filter better than the conventional type so uh, let me know what you've heard and uh, what you think uh, as, as always uh, go ahead and hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you like the content see you next time